let's head over to the Mastercraft Kitchen. And Mark, is it true that you've got chips on the menu today? We have got chips. We've got steak and chips and compound butter on the menu, but we're going to do kumara chips. Yes! And we've got some fantastic steaks here. So I'll just go through them quickly. We've got eye fillet, rump steak, sirloin, and a scotch as well. So nice selection, and we're going to go through them a little bit later. But first, I'm going to make this beautiful compound butter. So it sounds really posh, but it's just, it's just a flavoured butter, really. <laughs> 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 and quite posh. Um, so we've got some uh, softened butter. And then basically you can flavour it with whatever flavouring you want. And today I'm just going to flavour it with some horseradish and some garlic. I've got a little bit of white wine vinegar going, going in there just for a bit of uh, acidity. Some fresh, you get some fresh horseradish, just peel it and grate it finely. Or just use the stuff out of the jar if you can't get it. Um, we've got some capers. That'll give us a nice uh, acidity as well. Just going to roughly chop them, put them through, and we've got a little bit of garlic as well, which I've already just finely chopped. And that's all going to go in to the butter. Okay, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. You know, give it a good mix up. So it's entirely up to you, whatever you want to put in there. You can put herbs in there, you can put, you know, chilies in there, anything you want. Give it a good mix. And then, all you need to do is just roll it up. So just a little bit of cling film. Spread it out, sort of as even as you can get it. And then we're just going to roll it over and just make it into a nice, tight, sort of sausage shape. If you get any air bubbles in there, it's a good idea. Just give it a little prick and then squeeze it. And then it will be nice and compact. <laughs> and then... All we do, just tighten it up, and you're going to stick this in the fridge, or if you need it pretty fast, put it in the freezer for about 10, 15 minutes. Just going to set. We'll do a nice slice on top of the steak when we come back a bit later. With this dish, you can't go wrong. It's steak and chips. Um, actually, I'm in the kitchen. What am I saying? Anything could go <laughs> wrong, couldn't it? Uh, so we've got uh, chips underway, and you're using kumara chips today. Yeah, so we're, we're going to use kumara, uh, and we're, we're just going to roast them in a pan. So we're not deep frying them, so it's a little bit healthier but then I'm going to put loads of butter on it, so it's probably about the same, but it will taste better. So do you not need to pre-cook your kumara? No, no, okay. no, no. It's, um, you know, I've got these nice sort of like little little chips. They're not, they're not going to take too long. And we're right. going to get the colour in the pan now, so that's what I'm going to do now. So a little bit of olive oil and just start it in a hot pan. And we're going to get some nice colour on there. So you've got four sides to the chip, so, you know, you get nice colour on all four sides. Right. Um, if it's still a little bit crunchy, just pop it in the oven for five minutes, you know. It will nearly be done, if not done. OK, great. Sweet. So it's all about how thick you cut them too, really, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, if you make really thick ones, then obviously it takes a little bit longer and you'll right. need to put them in the oven. OK, cool. So they're on at the moment. Right, so let's talk about steak. Oh, yes, let's talk about steak. Can I name them? Can right, I try you, and guess? Yeah, go on. OK, so that's your, one? that's your eye fillet. Oh, good. I'd say that's your scotch. Yep. That would be your sirloin. Yes. And I'd say that's your rum. Wow, four out of yeah. four. Yeah! <laughs> I know my meat. OK. Um, <laughs> OK, and what's the difference between them? Obviously the cuts, but what would you say is chef? Well, obviously you've got, you've got different cuts, so you've got different amounts of fat in each one and uh, different textures as well. That's what it all comes down to. And different prices as well in the shop. So obviously your eye fillet is your most expensive cut because there's not that much on the actual cow. Right. So obviously that's, uh, that's why it's more expensive. And very lean, so no fat on there, just a little bit of marbling through the meat, but really tasty, so it's a lot of people's favourite. Yep. Um, I like a bit more fat through mine because fat is flavour. Uh, so this scotch, you know, you've got this nice fat around the outside and then you get this little nugget of fat inside as well, so it's great. But some people don't like that, but as you're cooking it, you know, it's going to give you a great flavour and nice texture. Can I just have a wee look at that? Sorry to handle the steak, but I have um, cleaned my hands. So uh, is, are we looking for the marbling through yeah, here? Yeah. Is that so, what we're looking for? So you, you've got some marbling sort of coming yeah. through here, and yeah. if you've got the marbling through the steak, you know, as you cook it, it keeps it nice and juicy and flavoursome. OK, great. Sirloin as well. Yeah, very popular cut of meat, this. Yeah, definitely. So, porterhouse in, uh, in America, they cook, cook them really thick. Nice bit of fat on the outside there, a little bit more there, and a beautiful, um, nice textured piece of meat when you cook it. So, with, without the marbling through that, I mean, there's a little bit there, but the fat mainly is on the outside. Does that give you a different taste? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, well, it just keeps it. It just gives you a different mouth, mouth feel in your, in your mouth when you okay. eat it, you know? So, I mean, if you don't want the fat in there, you can cook 
cut it off okay. and don't eat it, but definitely Ooh. cook it with the fat. Oh, no, I love the fat. OK, sweet. And, right, and then, you've got, then you've got the rump, so it's a little yep. bit cheaper, bigger, more of it on the cow. My favourite. A little bit more texture, so a little bit more chewing, like a real steak, you know, so you can go for a bigger portion. And you've got two halves, so you can you get a nice slice across the whole um, rump. Or you can ask for a rump cap, so it's just this top part with a nice bit of fat on. And if you get a nice piece of it and roast it in the oven, perfect for Sunday roast. Oh, oh I'm so excited. Brilliant. Right, okay, so, so the chips are going. What do we need so, to do? So yours, yours is the rump, the favourite? Yeah, yeah, that's my favourite, actually. I, I like it because it's value. And as you said, you can have a really big piece of it yeah. and it's not costing you an <laughs> arm and a leg. Exactly, exactly. And Mel, what's your favourite steak? Definitely eye fillet. Or maybe sirloin. Or rump if it's done in the slow cooker. <laughs> well, I'm going to cook you the eye fillet Yeah, today. thanks, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. Only the best for Mel, and that's the best cut. That's it, that's go. it. So, just going to get them out. So, these steaks have been out sort of about 20 minutes, so they just come up to room temperature. So and that's nice really and soft. important, yes. isn't it? Because I usually yeah. just take one out of the fridge and then, you know, put it on the, on the grill or the, uh, the pan straight away. But to get it at that room temperature is really important. Very important. So, you'll get a nice, fast, faster, even cook, you know, and then you'll get a beautiful, uh, juicy steak. If you try and cook it out in the fridge, it's just going to be really hard. It's going to be caramelised, like too much caramelised on the outside, okay. and it's still going to be cold in the middle, so it's not going to go through. OK, so we've seasoned our steaks. Yeah, season the steak. Pan's going. Nice hot pan, Yum. into the pan, starting to cook now, you're starting to hear that sizzle. Yeah. So vegetable oil, so you can get that a lot higher temperature. Mm -hmm. Pop that in, and give it a little bit more seasoning in the pan, and get a really nice colour. Caramelisation on there, we'll flip it over, and then we'll come back a little bit later, and we'll, I'll show you a nice tip how to um, check the meat as well. Right, and we've got our compound butter, which we are hardening up as we yep, speak. that's it. The Kumara chips are going, the steak is cooking, we're in for a good Tuesday feast this morning. OK, now over to the Mastercraft kitchen where Mark is finishing off his not-so-humble steak and chips with some butter, some butter, shall I say? <laughs> butter. Some butter. Oh. Right. <laughs> right, so steaks have been uh, cooking. So if you just have a look at that, it's got a nice spring in there. So they've just been taken out, the rest in now. In the same pan, tip off the excess fat. Put a little bit of brandy in there. Sometimes it flames. So we've got the brandy in there. We've got some green peppercorns. We're just going to make a really quick sauce. A little bit of beef stock. And then we're going to reduce that down, add a little bit of cream, and that's just going to finish our steak. Right, so the steaks are resting. So a little tip for you at home. If you get your fingers, get your thumb and your first finger, put it together in a, in a disc, and then just squeeze in this area here. If you do it with the first finger, that's rare for the steak. Go to the second finger, medium rare, starting to get a little bit more resistance. Third finger, starting to go a little bit further, sort of medium well. Last finger, it's really hard, it's well done, so it doesn't want to feel like the last finger. So just stick to the first or the second fingers. That's how you know your steak's done. And if you just sort of squeeze it like that and prod it, you know it's done. Yeah. Right, so I'm going to plate up one each for you. Thanks, Mark. Oh. All right, look at that. Oh. Look at it. So that's for Mel. Oh, yum. Oh. Yum, 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 yum. This is for Mike. <laughs> Listen to the noise you're making. <laughs> I'm drooling, I'm drooling. So a little bit of cream in that sauce. Just bring it down. And then the butter, a little bit of butter on top. And we're just going to finish just a little bit of this sauce over the top. Oh, yes. And there you go. I am salivating. Nice work. Beautiful. All right, I'll bring your steaks over. You can get tucked in. Here you go, guys. Get stuck in here. Try the steaks. <gasps> Yum! Yum. That looks incredible. Right here, what have you got on the menu tomorrow? Right, tomorrow we've got Peter Gordon in the kitchen and we're going to do a recipe out of his new book, Savour. Yum. Oh, that sounds really good. I can't wait to try that. And, of course, talk with Peter Gordon as well. I'll tell you what, I just can't wait to eat this. <laughs> 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 <laughs>